Hey team, welcome to another video. I thought since the servers were down for 6.01 maintenance and we can't get into the game, I'd make a quick video about the patch notes just hitting some of the highlights. Crushing Defeat Media. This 01 patch typically follows a pattern. All of the patches typically follow a pattern, and in the 01 patch, we get our first raid, which we will get. And before I get into that, a couple of things. So more fixes going in in this patch for the server 2002 error. Hopefully, hopefully this fixes the for real, for real fix, and we stop experiencing that. And even if there are long queues, which do seem to be getting shorter, that uh, it's stable. And we don't have to babysit that login so much because it's not going to disconnect. So uh, I have seen improvements there. Hopefully you have too. And hopefully this will be the final final fix for that. One thing Square Enix is great at is when things go wrong, they make things right. In fact, A Realm Reborn is called A Realm Reborn because the first iteration of Final Fantasy XIV wasn't so good. And they went back and redid the whole game and made it great. And now look where we're at. So many people want to play this game, they can't even sell it to them. The other thing they're doing to make things right is they've extended the free game time for paid players from seven days. They've added another 14 days, so we're looking at three weeks of free time. So that's another small way that Square Enix is showing their appreciation for our patients and making good on, on the issues that we've had. All right, getting into these patch notes. Really the big thing here is the raid, the new raid that we're gonna get with this content. And it's called Pandemonium is the raid series. And the raid that we will be getting is called, sounds like it's called assholes, but it's not assholes. Asphodelos, Asphodelos, Asphodelos. I'll go with Asphodelos. So that's the new raid that we're getting. In order to participate in this raid, you will have to have beaten Endwalker. However, please don't make it so that this causes you to rush through Endwalker. It's a great main story so far. I haven't completed it either. And don't, don't cut corners there or lose out on that experience because you're in such a hurry to get to this raid. The raid will always be there. And because of the way dailies work and tombstones work, there will always be players trying to play that raid. So no rush. It'll be there uh, if you're still working on the Endwalker main storyline. If you are done and you are average item level 565 or above, then you will have access to this raid. And it's sounding like it's going to be pretty good. Multiple parts, same story type of thing. And you'll know in order to start this, you will go to old charlayan 9.6 and that will start you off on the quest line here it looks like one two three four five quests in order to unlock the raid a couple other small changes new orchestrian roles have been added of course the raid music will get added in as an orchestrian role new triple triad cards have been are being added presumably from folks from the raid maybe maybe not but they are 6.0 or 6.x Endwalker triad cards, the raid, which we've already talked about, eight player raid. And when you complete the raid, just like we've had pretty consistently now the past few expansions, you don't get gear itself from the raid like you did way back in like a, a Realm Reborn. You get tokens to turn into the gear that you specifically need. You're going to get uh, tokens that you, you're going to get tokens that you need or greed on, depending on what kind of pieces you want to save up and try to get. And then you're also going to get coin type things that you use to turn into irregular type of weird tombstones to get the weapon. It gets all very, all very confusing here sometimes, but Basically, no, you're going to get the components you need to get the raid gear and the weapon. What I will also tell you is the raid gear is usually pretty good. It's pretty fine. But the big news is that we're getting the new Tomestones of Astronomy. 
and that is usually where the good gear comes from. So personally, I use the raid gear as a stopgap. Often I don't end up with the whole raid set even because by the time I've got the raid set built up, I've already earned enough tombstones to get the better gear from the tombstones of astronomy. So I don't know, to each their own. The raid stuff has been added to the mentor duty roulette. Oh, experience points for completing dungeons from 80 to 89 has been increased. And then, of course, as the raid gets their item levels get higher, then the mentor gets higher. It's dumb. All right, let's look at these new items that have been added. This is a little confusing because these things look really cool. But the cool things in that picture will not be introduced until patch 6.05. The items added in 6.01 will be listed as at a later date. So they're trying to keep the raid gear a little bit of a surprise for everybody, which is fine. They're changing the name from beet soup to wine dark soup. I don't know if somehow beet soup is problematic, but I don't know. What's wrong with beet soup? Beet soup? Someone tell me in the comments why beet soup is a problem and needs its... Name change to Wine Dark Soup. Uh, new achievements have been added. New trophies have been added for PlayStation 5. Obviously, achievements if you're playing on PC. And then trophies if you're pay playing on PlayStation. New music has been added for the raid. The volume of the sound effect played when successfully completing an action combo has been increased. So that's cool. The sound effect in the Scholar Action Broil 4 has been adjusted. So, I don't know scholars if that was junky or what but combat sounds for voice four of male viera have been adjusted so that's good players can now use the character renaming service even when servers are heavily congested oh, that's good news i was actually going to rename my player my last name so that's that's excellent to see and then a whole list of resolved issues and a couple of known issues an issue where NPC Kokobuki does not appear under certain conditions. This does not affect the ability to progress through quests, so that's good. And an issue in Pandemonium, where multiple instances of flying text and battle log text appear when certain status effects expire. So if you see weird text floating around the screen in the new raid, just know that's a known issue. And then all these other things have been fixed. So not a ton to talk about in this patch. Probably didn't even need to make this video, but I was bored because the servers are down. I don't have anything else to do. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.